Hey folks, how are you doing? What I'm going to show you today is the another multi-tool Kydex sheet, but this time I want to also show you in a very simple tutorial how to make it yourself. Uh, I'm not going to actually make my uh, right now, but I will show you step by step and explain what to do, how to do it. As you can see, again, flat backing and all the print is done on the outside, on the one side of the multi-tool. And uh, what you will need for this this is actually, it's kind of, it's harder to do than the regular sheet because it, re it requires more steps. But uh, because of the construction of the sheet, it's actually easier because you don't need, you don't even need to use the rivets for the sheet like this, which is pretty nice. You can, all you actually need would be Chicago screws or some kind of uh, screw system that, you know, works just like a Chicago screw. It would have to be, this is the quarter in Chicago screw, so it would have to be, uh, thinner or shorter to actually press the two sheets together you will have to be probably one eighth of an inch chicago screw or you know any type any other type of screw mechanical screw that uh, closes two things together to keep the two kydex sheets together here's this here's what you're gonna need your multi-tool just a note uh, charge and wave as uh, as much as they are same they are different in the construction uh, because the bottom this bottom piece it's different on the wave uh, and uh, actually let me grab the wave it's right here you will see the tool wise they are exactly the same tools but you can see that the, the wave is actually narrower on the bottom because of the scale the handle scales how it's done so uh, charge will not fit to the wave and uh, let me see wave will be probably too loose yeah wave is too loose in a charge seat sheet so take take that into the consideration when you're gonna make your sheet and uh, steps are as follows you will need the two pieces of kydex one longer one shorter the short one has to be at least as wide as long as your back portion of the sheet will be the flat side the front one has to be longer because you actually have to manage to do these curves just for example this would be my back side but you see if I would make this turn these two turns here this piece might be actually even too short to do it so I would overkill it a little bit you know kind of is not that expensive I would put this piece on the back this piece on the front you know and what you do is you will find a piece of wood that is wide enough you know this is just an example it would have to be wider than this or any strong material that will not bend at all uh, I recommend wood because it would not bend. I, before I used the plastic sheets like this, but this actually still flexes enough to give me a little, little more headache doing that sheet. So the second time I was doing it, I actually used wood that, uh, that wouldn't bend at all. And what you do is take your multi tool, heat up your the front, the front portion of the kydex, and you would once it's heated up you would set it in the place having about half inch half inch of the kydex overlapping the bottom of the tool important you have to do the kydex sheet so the white portion of the tool is the top, the part that sticks out other way around it would not work it's just you couldn't push this through the kydex you have to always go with the narrower part out so you set it up make sure the half inch overlaps and you would take your uh, foam or any kind of that foamy medium what you would use to press the kydex double it up I find it works better as a double it up double doubled up set it up and you would you know clamp it together real hard as hard as you can because what you want to do what you want to reach by that is getting uh, as much imprint of that kydex as possible you know to getting it as, as best imprint of that of that multi-tool as possible also on the bottom so it closes nice and it doesn't look just like wrinkled something but it actually looks something like this or something like this you know you see that pretty nice indent and this is actually after i let it go in the next step you will see originally this was actually all the way down nice like almost enclosed this whole thing was almost enclosed so you will do your top kydex imprint then you will take the bottom flat portion align them you know nice set the multi-tool in and you will see uh, you will decide wherever where you want your holes now here if you have a rivets and you're doing the rivets you decide where you want the rivets in and uh, you know mark the spots 
for example I did a one and a half inch just uh, so I can still fit my one and a half inch uh, tactical uh, belt from uh, 511 or I can also put the you can also put the tech lag on it what you can do is for example you can have a one and a half inch but then you can do here one more rivet on top to have a one and a three quarters of an inch between this one and the top one so you can actually fit the, the larger tactical belts through it which is nice idea I didn't do it I might still do it just to have that option once you mark the holes you will do one hole at the time you drill the hole set the rivet in or drill the hole and put the screw in you know whichever option you're doing then you do the next one then you do the next one so you don't drill all the holes you know bef uh, without setting any screws fixed and it, it would move on you know so you do hole and set it up hole set it in hole set it in once you do that you will see that you will end up with the shit something like this but the corners will be m stronger you know heavier angles and it will be too tight you know no matter what you do it will be too tight for the multi-tool so what you do you force the multi-tool in take that wood what you were working on and here's you can do this you can either set the tools if you have the rivets you can actually screw the the case with the four uh, you know regular sheet drag screws into the wood so it's nice and strong and then you take the heat gun or you can take a, you can take the clamps like this and just clamp the two sides you know with the clamps one and two I actually found this uh, easier and faster than doing the screws and uh, you won't you won't scratch the rivets this way you clamp it into the wood like this and you take your heat gun or a heat source and you just start heating all over here you will see the kydex expanding a little bit as it heats up and softens up you will see that you will lose this and it will open up just like it's already on this because before it was imprinted really with really heavy angles that's what was making the kydex too you know too stiff once you put both pieces together and this way when you're heating it up you're letting it expand again you know a little bit loosen it up and uh, once once you do that for you know let's say 10 20 20 30 seconds uh, that's about the time what the good heat gun will uh, soften up the kydex you will let it dry and it just naturally just because you heated it up and you had the bottoms clamped it expanded to pretty much just desired retention what you need on the kydex tool on the kydex sheet for the multi-tool because you have you have the good retention created just from the two screws on the bottom and also this little indent here it stays there uh, the original imprint was much much more pronounced but this way once once I let it go you know heated it up and let it expand it extended a little bit more you know uh, making the retention a little little less strong but still strong enough so I can I can shake this thing really hard and even though the multi-tool is heavy object it will not sh uh, you know it will not shake out but all you need to do is one nice pull and it will come out you see you hear the nice click and uh, like I said pretty simple it's uh, for me example it's a little more work than the regular kydex sheet but uh, from the tool requirement stand of you know point of view it's a little easier because you don't really need you know you don't really need no special press or something you don't you don't even need the rivets like I said the rivet setter so in a way it's actually simpler so hope you enjoyed it guys I actually really dig this uh, I I never thought that I would actually be ever consider using a kydex sheet for the multi-tool because I, I always carry this in my pocket just like a regular knife with the pocket clip with this pocket clip but actually from uh, having it today and uh, having it on my belt I actually really dig it and I carry it down uh, upside down I carry it so I just grab the multi-tool on my left side you know and just pull it downwards and uh, I find it actually very useful and uh, very nice not obtrus obtrusive it's not in my way it's very low profile and uh, I dig it I really dig it I really hope to see some of you give it a try hope you enjoyed it guys hope it helped somebody take care stay safe and remember don't cut yourself